Here are 10 reasons Prince Harry hates Camilla. Number 10, public thoughts. If you've ever wondered how Prince Harry feels about his stepmom, Duchess Camilla, apparently it's somewhat complicated. Royal expert Ingrid Seward recently revealed that Harry doesn't have great respect for Camilla and has pretty much no interest in starting a close relationship with her. I mean, did we really think that Prince Harry would like his father's mistress? Prince William in an interview was asked about this matter and stated, My father loves this woman, I can't fight it, so I won't. Harry, on the other hand, cannot stand Camilla. He doesn't want Camilla to be queen. He's very angry that it's happening. He has not made his peace with it and he probably never will. Glad Prince William is handling the whole ordeal well. Maybe Prince Harry will eventually follow suit. Unfortunately, there are quite a few reasons why Harry doesn't have the highest fondness towards his stepmother. Number 9. Diana was a devoted mother Diana broke many royal traditions as an assurance to raise her kids thoroughly. Not only was she one of the first royal moms to breastfeed her babies, she would also welcome a young William and Harry into her bed for morning cuddles previously unheard of in royal circles. She shunned tradition, which said royal kids would stay at home with nannies when their parents went off on tour, famously taking along a nine-month-old William on her first official trip to Australia. I want my sons to have an understanding of people's emotions, their insecurities, people's distress, and their hopes and dreams, Diana said. Camilla then stepped in as a stepmother, and since people idolized Diana as a parent, Camilla already had an uphill battle to be a good stepmother. Not to add the fact she was the reason for the divorce to begin with. The affair between Camilla and Charles led to a majority of people despising Camilla for, in quotations, homewrecking. According to sources, Charles and Camilla began having an affair in 1986 despite both being married to other people. Later in 1995, during an interview with BBC One's Panorama, Diana spoke about Camilla's relationship with Charles, saying, There were three of us in this marriage, so it was a bit crowded. Of course, when an affair like this is so public, people will side with who has been cheated on over who cheated, and in this case, people were outraged by the fact Diana was cheated on, people including the son of Diana. Number 8. The Other Royals Views the royals had negative views of Camilla, but were very welcoming to Diana. Right from the start, Charles adored the then Camilla Shand, who's close in age to Charles, and has always treated him as an equal rather than as someone she idolized. However, the royal family wasn't interested in having Camilla as its princess. For one thing, she was perceived as an experienced woman, which was a non-starter for the royal family back then in terms of a suitable spouse for Prince Charles. For another, she wasn't perceived as aristocratic enough to be a princess. On the other hand, Diana was adored by the royal family. The queen thought Diana quite suitable for Charles. She was very much a hit with the royal family, they really warmed to her. She Chernock says, Diana worked very, very hard to ingratiate herself and to model what she thought being a princess would entail, and she did it very successfully. Number 7. Diana's Passing During the anger and finger pointing amid the national grieving over Diana's loss, commentators were in almost universal agreement there was no chance Charles could marry the matronly Camilla even if she had been the love of his life. In a television poll at the time, two thirds said Charles should not be allowed to become king if he married Camilla. He had been having an affair with her since the mid 1980s. Camilla should leave the country, said one mourner, after Diana's death as she laid flowers outside the princess's house. Without the mistress, none of this would have happened. People of the public seem to have pointed their finger right at Camilla after the passing and labeled her the mistress who caused this. The Netflix series The Crown has brought back stories and pain that Diana dealt with and have been bringing a new backlash to Camilla to which every photo on the monarch's Instagram is flooded with comments saying Diana forever and every other form of comment that is implying Diana will not be forgotten. Number 6. Kate and Will Kate Middleton and Queen Consort Camilla have been engaged in a secret power struggle after King Charles took the throne. There is a rift going on amongst the royals with Camilla's new appointment. 
this power war has been vocalized by Kate Middleton. She has stated ever since the queen passed away, Camilla has been throwing her weight around showing everyone who's boss. And Kate is apparently becoming increasingly irritated by Camilla. She thinks Camilla doesn't take her royal duties seriously and that she doesn't deserve the role. And those things have been awkward. Kate has been upset with Camilla's new demeanor since gaining her new title and has said she has a superior attitude where everyone has to bow down to her. I'm sure more goes on behind closed doors, but who knows? Prince William, although saying he has accepted that his father loves her, doesn't mean he will. The Prince of Wales was very direct when it came to his children's relationship with Camilla. William has made it clear that Camilla is the wife of his father, but not a step-grandmother to his children. The royal author said, adding that William and Kate Middleton's three children know they have two grandfathers, but only one grandmother. I feel bad for Prince William and Prince Harry. After dealing with a divorce due to an affair, then the passing away of their mother, for their father to marry the same woman he had an affair with, that's a lot to overcome so for them to be handling it the way they do, I respect them for that. Number 5. The Public Social media has been blowing up about Camilla and their hate has forced royal social media accounts to turn off comments. Camilla the world hates you, Princess Diana forever, one Instagram user commented on a photo of Camilla. It seems like the majority are to this day Team Diana. After the Netflix show titles The Crown, one comment stated, The Netflix TV show is just that, a TV show. Charles and Diana had an arranged marriage and three people plus the children suffered because of that arranged marriage. Now I may add, TV shows aren't exactly a perfect representation of history as the main focus is entertainment, but maybe seeing Camilla's actor portray her, people got a bit of a taste of what had been going on this whole time. Royal experts state that the hate for Camilla will always linger as stated by royal commentator Richard Fitzwilliam. Issues such as reading, issues such as abuse, she's done very well in quite a quiet way. She's persisting, beginning with osteoporosis. There is no question that she's very valuable and makes a very valuable contribution, but also of course, as an ideal partnership with the prince. However, he opined that Camilla will always be disliked by a section of the public because the memory of Princess Diana won't ever completely go away. He said, here's the problem that anything to do with Diana, which is constantly in the news, does bring back past memories. The past decades, and this brings back Diana, will mean obviously that there will always be a section of society that are far from enamored by Camilla. That's the way of the world. Will people start forgiving Camilla for being in love, especially her stepson Harry? Number 4. Camilla is liked more than his wife It is not a secret that Camilla, although not of the most popular royal, is liked more than Meghan, Harry's wife. For someone who pushes an egalitarian agenda, Markle can seem at times to be excessively concerned with the social status of herself and her family. She seems to desire the standing that goes with being a royal without wanting all the baggage that goes along with it. She was widely reported, for example, to be furious when she found out that her children Archie and Lilibet wouldn't get HRH status on the grounds that the Sussexes weren't working royals. Glixman's thoughts on this is that Camilla may not be speaking publicly, but he thinks she is working hard to create the image the public now has of her, particularly because of the role in store for her when Charles ascends the throne. Especially if she's going to be the next queen, she has to be liked because this is the people's queen, says Glixman. She wants to be liked and she's made sure that she's acted in a way that the British public forgets the past and focuses on the future. Number 3. Just didn't acknowledge Camilla Meghan and Prince Harry, who appeared fighting back their tears while attending the late Queen's memorial service, were asked to pay respect to the former monarch's sincere wish. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have been living in California since they stepped down as senior working members of the royal family in 2020, but the couple happened to be in the UK when Queen Elizabeth breathed her last on September 8. Some royal fans and experts are raising questions whether the couple would respect the former monarch's sincere wish she made in her life for Camilla to be known as queen when Charles takes to the throne. Harry appeared to have extended an olive branch to his father King Charles in his touching tribute to the late queen saying, We now honor my father in his new role as King Charles III. The duke who is now fifth in line to the throne could not mention the queen consort, yikes.
Number two, zero forgiveness. Camilla, who married Harry's father, Prince Charles, in 2005, still holds a grudge against Harry and his wife Meghan for exiting the royal family in early 2020. The act reportedly greatly upset Charles, and Camilla has yet to forgive the Duke and Duchess of Sussex for their decision to leave their roles as senior members of the firm. I don't think the Duchess will ever forgive Meghan for what she's done to the Prince of Wales. Another insider claimed that Charles was deeply hurt by Harry's decision and that the aftermath of Harry's choice has been really hard for him to deal with. Another person revealed that despite Camilla's upset with Harry and Meghan, she'll continue to support Charles and the monarchy. When Charles becomes king, she'll understand the need to be by his side, as the Duke of Edinburgh was for the Queen, and I don't think she's daunted by that, the friend stated. It is not an exaggeration to say she has been his rock throughout this crisis, a source said of the couple's bond. Number one, call out Camilla. And finally on the list, we have Harry's memoir, Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall. Former royal butler Paul Burrell claimed that Harry may reveal Camilla's secrets in his new book, revealing that the book's publisher, Penguin, will want their money's worth, Burrell added. That means they won't want vagueness, they'll want names and specifics, claiming that Harry may be pressured to reveal the name of the person whom he and Meghan claimed made racially insensitive comments about the color of their son's skin. I haven't read the memoirs yet, so this could very easily be the case as we speak, Burrell said, that Harry may feel the need to speak out about Camilla because of the role she played in breaking up his parents' marriage. He'll no doubt go in depth about his feelings after his mother's death and the subsequent events. After the reports, she was involved in his parents' marriage and then stepped into Diana's shoes as Charles' wife. I suspect Camilla will be in his sight, so I'd say Harry's set to reveal any Camilla secrets. He's already said he enjoys the crown, which painted Camilla as the wicked stepmother in a way, the former royal staffer stated. Burrell also admitted that if Harry does speak poorly of Camilla, that his father would be absolutely livid. I guess the only way to know is to watch our videos on the memoir. Thanks for watching.